What it is, y'all? MGZ back with another video, bro. I know it's been a minute since you heard your voice, but I'm done with NBA 2K20 videos for right now. Cause as y'all know, 2K21 dropping next month, and that's where we're gonna be turning up on. If y'all been wondering where I've been, if you haven't seen my recent videos, bro, I've switched to Twitch for streaming. So make sure y'all go follow me there. I'm gonna leave the link down below. So y'all make sure to hit that button. Keep them noties on for Twitch and make sure to come through to some of my streams, bro, because we grinding on Twitch for right now. But all my 2K videos, we're going to be having right here on YouTube. So y'all stick around for this. Make sure to hit that sub button if you're new to my channel and make sure to like this video. But without further ado, bro, let's get into this video. So as you can see, the title, bro, this is the best small forward position or build in the game. So all you want to do is follow my steps here. Everything here does not matter except for your position. All right. So we're going to hit continue. And when we come to our skill breakdown right here, this is only this the hold on hold on shout out 2k bro. Look at all these new pie charts or somewhat new hold on. <sighs> oh another thing is y'all I see a lot of y'all YouTubers and people complaining about this game bro. Again, it's current gen bro. 2K is not gonna bring us a whole new game for the current gen when the new Xbox and the new PS4 are dropping in November, December. Y'all feel what I'm saying? So don't get too mad bro. Y'all expectations need to come down a bit. It's 2K. It's 2K bro. It's literally 2K 20.5 for right now, but just wait till current gen. It's gonna be something totally different. But anyways, this is the pie chart we want to go with. You want to go with that? You want to go with that um, playmaking there? You feel what I'm saying? When it comes to the physical profiles, you see it's basically the same as last year, but we want the 87 speed. You dig? All right, here we go. Let's set this potential. So for this, we're gonna want to go with our 83. We're gonna want to take this up to 78, and we're gonna want to take this to 70. You're standing in post hook. You leave right there. As far as shooting goes, bro, you want to max out at 77. You want to max your three pointer at 72. You want to take your free throw down to 79 and your post fade it stays at 35 you feel what i'm saying so if, as far as our pack acts our pass accuracy goes bro you're going to want to leave this up here at 80. you're going to want to take this all the way up to 85 and as far as your post moves you can just drop that at 50. you can just drop it at 56. it really doesn't need to go up because what, like what's the point of having 30 playmaking badges there is no point y'all feel what i'm saying all right anyways we're just going to distribute our defensive badge now so obviously our rebounding is important you want to put your interior defense all the way up. Your perimeter defense wants to go all the way up. You're going to max that. You're going to max your steal. And you're going to max your block here at 60. So, as you can see, 57, 73, 73, 71, 60, 60, 71. And look at the badges, bro. You got 3 finishing, 9 shooting, 25 playmaking, and 10 defensive rebounding. But that's pretty balanced for a small forward. Anyways, we're going to hit that continue button. As far as the body type goes, it really doesn't matter again. But I feel like... Look at this, y'all. Slight looks even skinnier than last year, but look how big Burley looks, bro. And don't, hey, don't be no gay boys up in my comment section talking about pauses. And just look, bro. This is way bigger than he was last year. All right. So me, I'm just gonna go with Burley. Okay, we're gonna. No, okay, no, that's gross. Um, we're gonna go with build. Okay, so as far as height, bro, just leave it here at six seven. Weight. So this is what you wanna do. So as you can see this year, bro, weight takes your speed down or whatnot, or the higher you go, the lower your speed goes, but the lower you go, the faster you get, right? So look at this, bro. If you put them at 190, what are you missing out on? Interior defense and post moves, bro, that's nothing. Your driving lap goes up plus two, but interior defense, bro, that doesn't mean nothing, bro. So look at that 90 speed and that 87 acceleration, all right? Strength does not matter. So we're gonna go with 190. You could also go like, 205 whatever you feel comfortable with y'all but we're gonna hit with, with the 190 your wingspan okay listen 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 if you hit him with the 79 inch or if you hit him with the 79 uh, inch wingspan look what look at this you can speed boost off rip so if you want to speed boost off rip bro go ahead and do this but look i'm telling you right now it's absolutely it's not even worth it bro it's not worth it at all like you look how much look how much you lose and your defensive and finishing your close shot and driving dunk, perimeter lateral steal block, offensive defense rebound, it's not worth it unless you're trying to speed boost off. If everybody wants to do all these cheesy ass moves, bro, it's not worth it. For me, bro, it's not even worth going you could you could max it out. You could max it out, but your three point and mid range take a hit along with your ball handle. So that's up to you, but I think a good a good place to be is you wanna be at your eighty four mark. You wanna be at the eighty four, just leave it neutral. As far as takeover goes, bro, again, you're a small forward, you're playmaking. I would say, I would say, hey, 
I would say your lockdown defending badge, bro, is probably one of your best bets because lockdown's always been a very goaded um, takeover. You feel me? So I would say lockdown. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's a shot creator at all, bro. You're not gonna be sh taking leaning shots or nothing like that, especially with the um, ball or especially with like a 76 three pointer. So I say I, I would. I would scratch that. As far as slashing goes, bro. Hey, if you wanna, you know, if you wanna. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I say or play and take playmaking, bro. It's playmaking or lockdown. I'd say never mind shot creating or slashing. I'd say take your playmaking or your lockdown. And for me, bro, defense is more important than offense. And we're gonna hit that. So when it comes, so y'all see right here, we made that point forward build, bro. This thing's absolutely good. We're just gonna hit that continue button, and we're gonna take a look at the badges. We're gonna take a look at the badge layout. So set your overall for test and let's see here. So at a 90, what we get a 95 overall, bro. This is what we look like. We got an 84 ball handle, but we're just gonna put them up to 99 for right now, cause it really doesn't matter. So look, so right here for finishing badges, bro. For for finishing, we get three. So I'd say consistent finisher and pro touch. Uh, yeah, we'll just continue with that because look, I heard this year the layup system's different. Like you gotta like aim your right stick now. I haven't played yet, so I don't really know. And look at this pro touch. Uh, gives an additional boost for having good layup timing, bro. You you're gonna need that. Or else what you could do, bro, it's consistent finisher and relentless. I don't know. I'm just, I, I would just do this right here. As far as shooting goes, y'all. Yeah, as you can see this year, they took quick draw. Who knows? They might have it in the what do you call it? The new um the what do you call it? I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Okay, so range extender, hot zone hunter, and you probably want catch and shoot, and maybe dead eye, or else, yeah, because catch and shoot, bro. Yeah, come on now. And if you if you're terrible with your jump shot, bro, you may as well put that on goal. But I mean, Hall of Fame's the best. You get the best out of it. So that's how I'd, that's how I'd set up my um my shooting badges there. And then when we come over to plant making, bro, this I know some y'all like y'all ankle breakers, y'all bailouts. Turn that up. Turn this up right here. You get your quick first step. Unpluckable, bro. Unplu look, unpluckable does not have to be Hall of Fame at all. And then you have one extra, so you could put on tight handles, needle thread, or whatever. But look, you could even put unpluckable down to bronze, bro, because we know the way it be. Put tight handles or needle threader. But as far as this, bro, or look, you know what? You keep that there. You hit that. You feel what I'm saying? But for me, bro, I just do this for right now. You know, you don't even need ankle breaker this year. <laughs> you didn't last year, so uh, you know you could even go downhill, bro. Space creator, just all that type of shit. But f just for this video, bro, we'll just put on tight handles, and then we'll put this one on. We'll just put this on ankle break, y'all feel me? But remember, all these badges are gonna be changed around once um, the actual games come out, and you find the different methods. For me personally, for defensive, bro, as ten defensive badges, bro. Me as a defender, I'm always gonna go intimidator. I'm gonna go with clamps, of course, but I'm gonna gold clamps out. And because you're point forward and you're not gonna be guarding an actual guard, you're probably gonna wanna have pogo stick on. You want, you're gonna want rim protector, that's for sure. So, or you know what else you could do? You could even take, you don't even need pogo stick gold. You could put chase down artists on bronze or silver. You feel me? Or whatever else you want. But this is how, this is how I would lay out. I, I don't, I've never been the type to use pogo stick because I'm never in the paint. So this is how I'd have it. You know, pickpocket is pretty trash. You feel me? But that's probably how I'd have it. Something like this. You feel? So you got your two gold, one silver, one bronze, yo. And that pretty much wraps it up for this video as far as jump shot i'm not going to put no gameplay because i want to test other builds for right now but this is the most goaded small forward build in this game bro the point this is the point for it y'all so if y'all felt with this video make sure to hit that sub button make sure to like it up let your friends know let your moms dads grandma sisters brothers everybody know about me bro because on this 2k21 journey bro we popping off but it's my year for real and like i said before bro i'm streaming on twitch now so make sure to hit that link down below and follow me there the rest of my social will be there too but mgz signing out y'all peace